one, he describes how he wants to give the girl oral sex. He says, I can't control my horny level. Then he says, I want to blank your brains out. I can't help it. Now he's driven two and a half hours to meet her. Have some tea if you want some sweet tea. Is that okay? Yeah, I already drank some on the way. Did you find the place okay? Yes, sir. Did you have a seat right over there, please? What are you up to tonight? Just driving around. Just driving around? Yes, sir. And why is he just driving around? He says he's been away from Georgia for two years while serving in the United States Air Force, and he wanted to learn his way around again. How is that lesson going for you tonight so far? Not too good. Then he comes up with a completely different excuse. What made you drive into this driveway and walk into this house? I'm just asking for directions like... Oh, so you're lost? Yes, sir. But he drops that story as soon as I read to him from his chat log. I take it you're a virgin. No, sir. Not you. I'm reading from the conversation between you and Natasha. You say to her, I take it you're a virgin. She says no, but I'm no ho. You talk about oral sex in great detail. How you like to do it. Honestly, my intention was not to do anything like that because, hey, I know, it's jailbait. Jailbait. 24-year-old with a 15-year-old, that's jailbait. However, I do believe you can be friends with a 15-year-old and maybe go out and go bowling or something like that. But that's not what you talk about here. You don't talk about going out bowling or just hanging out or mentoring this 15-year-old girl. You talk about having sex with her in great detail. I will get on there and I will speak inappropriate. Sometimes people will just talk about that. If you were here right now and wanted to, I would not deny you. I want to blank your brains out. Yeah, there, I can't help it. There is... Is there any other meaning for that? There's a difference, though, between wanting to and actually doing it. It sounds like you sure wanted to, based upon this. I can't control my horny level. You say during the conversation you just masturbated twice and it hasn't helped. And I was lying. You were lying then or you're lying now? I was lying then. I mean, granted, yes, it's my fault, but did I actually fall into a trap? Well, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. And we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the internet and then try to meet them. Yes, sir. Now, everything you've just said has been recorded with our hidden cameras from the moment you pulled into the driveway. Uh, all I explained was I uh, did not come here with the intention of having sex. I came here with the intention of hanging out, doing, you know, talking a little bit, maybe go bowling, maybe she's in pool or something. Well, Brian, what should happen to you? Well, honestly, uh... With this, I think I should just be able, to just be allowed to just go home. Like nothing ever happened. No, sir. Go home. Just take it as a lesson learned, not to do it again. No such luck. Like all the other men who show up at this house, he gets arrested. While this former military man talked even after he knew he was being recorded, the next man, currently a soldier, doesn't stay long enough to find out he's on national television. He's 27-year-old Marshal Gertman, a first lieutenant in the National Guard who served a year in Iraq. He's been chatting with a decoy posing as a 15-year-old. Using the screen name High Excitement, he sends the girl a link for her to view pornographic pictures and asks her, what do you think? And then asks, do you like it? Later, he makes plans to come over and go skinny dipping. Well, you have to see if I don't put this stuff in right away, it gets all wrinkled. Okay. You can just take a seat. I'll be right there. I think laundry. As he's walking in, he seems to spot our crew. Wait and takes off. Serious, yes, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now. Yes, sir. Not move. While he never tells us his side of the story, a year later, he speaks at length to investigators. I mean, she brought up the, the fact of uh, going skinny dipping in the, in the swimming pool yes, with a 15-year-old girl. Yes, sir. Back at the house, here comes another soldier, an Army staff sergeant who served a tour in Iraq, 33-year-old Rolando Restacruz. Hey, come on in. Online, he calls himself married and looking for fun, 31313. He's been chatting for three weeks with Bedhead Red, a decoy who told him she was a 14-year-old virgin. He tells the girl when he first gets to her house, they can take a shower together. I will undress you, and you will undress me, okay? The decoy says, okay, 
Then he says, I will have to get some lubricant, too. For a virgin to have sex, it hurts, so it's better if I put some extra lubricant. He also promises to bring her beer, a webcam, and sexy lingerie. But as he walks into the house, he doesn't appear to be carrying any presents. Could they be in his truck? More on that later. I made some sweet tea. It's on the table. I just got to put this stuff in the washer real quick. Is that a little iced tea? Oh, I didn't, sir. Good. How much have a seat? Ooh. What are you doing here today? Sir, I wasn't going to do anything. That's what. You weren't going to do no. anything? No. Well, who were you here to see? I was going to meet her. Let's see. Meet who? Your daughter. My daughter? Yes. What yes. makes you think it's my daughter? He never answers that question. Instead, he says, Sir, I don't want to destroy my life. Well, you made the decision to walk in here. I know, sir, but I wasn't going to do anything, I swear. That's not what it sounds like in this chat log. Yes, I was just fooling around, sir. Damn, you're very sexy. You have a boyfriend? I know, sir. Sorry. Sorry, please. So you ever been with an old guy before? No, I need you to stay in the, the chair, please. Sir. Sit down, please. Please, sir. He refuses to sit in the chair. To be Mary certain we have the right fun. man, I ask him about the chat log. Mary looking for fun. That's you, right? Yes, sir. For a virgin to have sex, it hurts, so it's better if I put some extra lubricant. I wasn't going to do anything, I swear. I was going to just tell you that I can't do it. Well, that's not consistent with what's here, page after page after page. I was coming straight up. You were going to tell her what? That all this sex talk was just play no, and... that I wasn't going to do it. I have a daughter. She's my stepdaughter. How old is she? 17. What do you think your stepdaughter would think about this? Oh, she will kill me. Your ex-wife, what is she going to think about this? She will kill me too. While on his knees, the 33-year-old appears to try to bargain with us. I will not never do it again. Never. I swear. Just don't destroy my career. I don't get counseling, I swear. Counseling? Yes. Do you often chat with teenage girls on the internet? No, it was the first time. Why even enter into this discussion with somebody who says they're 14? Sir, please. On his knees, he seems a sad character. But this is the same man who chatted on...